Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are going to be talking about the five mods I'm most looking forward to in 2023. My most anticipated mods for 2023. Now, this is exclusively for Total War and Paradox games, and we are going to be having a look at a few mods that are going to be released and getting updates in 2023. So not all are brand new mods, but there are going to be big updates for these mods in 2023. 23. Now, without further ado, guys, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. Now, the first mod we're going to be talking about today is Dawnless Days mod for Total War Attila. It is already an absolutely stunning mod, and it feels amazing smashing armies of high-resolution orcs into angry dwarves or watching elves and men battle it out on any number of the battlefields across Middle Earth. All your choice. It is truly a stunning addition to the long history of brilliant Lord of the Rings mods for Total War games. But there is one thing yet to be added to this beautiful mod, and of course it is the campaign. The mod team have brought huge updates recently, really, really big updates with massive new rosters, great new rosters for the dwarves, for the elves, and new factions, most recently the elves of Lothlorien as I'm recording this video. But now they are ready to continue work on a beautiful and stunning campaign that I think we can all agree will be the next evolution in Lord of the Rings content for the Total War franchise. They have said that this may take them beyond 2023, but I can hope, we can all hope and dream that this uh, campaign will be released this year. But we shall see. But when that campaign is released, it will be finally here and it will be glorious it will be beautiful imagine a campaign with the stunning units that have been added in dawnless days and i cannot wait for its release So guys, coming in with number two, we have the Morning Sun mod for Shogun 2 Total War. A game we've not really talked about or played much on the channel, but Shogun 2 has always been a bit of a fan favourite, from the stunning visuals to the fast-paced but robust battles. However, for me and many other people, you can often catch yourself fighting seemingly similar factions with similar armies for much of the campaign. And now there is a mod that can fix that. Morning Sun has been out a little while, but of course, it isn't fully fleshed out yet. It does add Korea and China to the map with plenty of new factions, units, and gameplay scenarios to get yourself into. But at the moment, you have to admit that it's uh, a lot of room there for improvement in terms of the campaign map, especially the look uh, of the campaign map. I'm fleshing out a few of the factions but of course that is what modding is all about guys improvement over time and that is why i'm really looking forward to the improvements made to this mod in 2023 i cannot wait for this to be fully finished when we get a fully fleshed out china and korea added to shogun 2 i think shogun 2 will finally feel like it has reached its full potential and that's why Morning Sun is on my list. Now back with another Lord of the Rings style mod with Divide and Conquer for Medieval 2 Total War. Now this one might be a little bit of a cheat entry as version 5 is technically released, but it fits the bill as of now because as I'm recording this, it's in open beta and not fully fully released. Divide and Conquer is one of those mods that if you're of a certain age and played Medieval 2, you look at so fondly, like an awesome grandparent who always lets you get away with the stuff your parents don't let you do. It is a fantastic mod. Do not be put off by the Med 2 graphic styles and the older controls because this mod is absolutely fantastic and so chock full of content even today, that you are going to be amazed 
at the replayability of this mod. Even individual factions have different scripts and different ways you can go with each one, making each individual faction feel truly unique, and on top of that, giving you huge replayability. It has been around for a while, of course, but still to this day, I find it just as intriguing for the reasons I just talked about, just as replayable as I did all those years ago. And with version 5, we're promised new scripts, new balance, and new units, and that adds a whole new level of excitement for the mod for me. If you can get over the Med 2 graphics and the older controls, then this is certainly something that should whet your appetite in 2023 and I cannot wait for version 5's full release. So from one fantasy land to another, if ever there was a universe in which Crusader Kings was perfect for, you would have to say the intrigue, war and politics of Game of Thrones fits the bill exactly. And this same mod for CK2 was an absolute blast, if not a little easy at times. But bringing the Game of Thrones universe to CK3 is something that gets me really excited. Not least because Game of Thrones is my favorite book series, uh, but especially with the new mechanics for CK3 like lifestyles, etc. And how they'll add so much to the world of Game of Thrones. I cannot wait. They have been steadily developing this thing for a while, releasing regular updates, and it is looking to be a fantastic mod with a few previews of the map already out. I cannot wait to get my hands on this mod. It promises to be both immersive and incredibly fun. So, if you're a power-hungry Lannister like me, or an honorable Stark, or even a weak little milk drinking Aaron, then you can't do much better than diving into a game of ice and fire when it releases. So that is why CK3 A Game of Thrones is on my list for 2023. I cannot wait. Now, finally, last but most definitely not least, we have RTR Imperium Serectum, our favorite mod on the channel. What more needs to be said about RTR Imperium Serectum? This team has continuously pushed the boundaries of modding Total War beyond where anyone thought possible, especially a couple of years ago when Rome remastered released. I mean, just look at the units. Units rendered on a game engine that's decades old. And look at the map, currently sitting as one of the largest, if not the largest, Total War campaign map of all time, of any Total War. And 2023 proves to be an exciting prospect with promises of fleshing out and redesigning the rest of the unit rosters for the 50 factions, as well as potentially finishing the map to be even bigger with more cultures and diversity than ever seen before in a Total War game. In 2023, we could also speculate that more factions may be added and plenty more of the rosters will be completed to make your battlefields absolutely stunning. I think 2023 might take RIS, the mod that's already done so much in so little time, from a truly brilliant mod into a world beater. And I cannot wait to see what they bring. Well, that concludes my five most anticipated mods for 2023, guys. I hope you enjoyed this list. Please note that all the mods will be linked down in the description down below, as well as some gameplay of a few of them as well, if you want to check that out, especially RTR Imperium Serectum. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Let me know what your most anticipated mods of 2023 are, and I will check those out. I will definitely check them out, see what they're all about. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all again after you've liked and subscribed on the next video.